Hi, everyone. Aaron here for Zolotech, and the day is finally here where you can pre-order an Apple Vision Pro. We finally have more details, and so I wanted to share the overall pre-order process since it's currently only available in the United States. We'll talk about some tech specs as Apple finally released more details, and also some accessories and maybe my thoughts about it as well. Now, what we learned from doing the pre-order is the price, storage options, and much more. If we go into the pre-order, I wanted to share how this works, but if we go to pre-order on the iPhone, we can either do that directly from this app here or from the apple.com webpage, or go directly into the App Store app, which you'll need anyway for the most part, as you need to use Face ID in order to set this up. So as you can see here, it says pre-order Apple Vision Pro. And if we scroll down, it says get started. So it says first get measurements for your light seal and headband. So we'll go ahead and get started. Give it just a moment here. And it says, let's find your fit. We'll capture four angles of your face to help you get the ideal fit for your light seal and headband. This works just like what you would do when you go to set up maybe face ID for the first time. We also have accessibility options if you don't want to use face ID. So you have that option as well. We'll go ahead and get started and you can see it centers your face just like face ID. We'll give it a second here to lock on. And it's taking a moment. There we are. Then I have to look to the right, to the left. And it says, follow the arrow. There we go. You do this twice. So we'll tap continue. And again, position your face. It locks on. Do the same sort of thing. And then it captures it. And then it gives you information as far as what you'll use for the light seal. So we'll go ahead and tap done. And you'll see it says your face has been measured and that's all it says here. And then you'll scroll down, scroll down and it says you can get Zeiss optical inserts, readers or prescription versions. And so with the light seal, some people have said that the measurement varies depending on which time you run it. Sometimes it changes a little bit and sometimes every time they've scanned it, it's a little bit different. I haven't really seen too much of that, but if we go ahead and tap, get started with our lenses, you can order prescription lenses to fit over the top and we'll just tap no for glasses. I do typically wear them, but only up close. I don't wear contacts. And it also says, have you had surgery that resulted in monovision? Tap yes or no. It says you're all set once you continue there. And that's pretty much the way you set everything up so that you can finally order. If you scroll down, you'll see we have three storage options. Originally, we knew that the price started at $34.99 US dollars and came with 256 gigs of storage. However, we have a 512 gigabyte and one terabyte option that goes up to $3,899. So very expensive upgrades as far as the overall memory or storage. And if we scroll down, of course, you can buy it here or finance it. And if we buy, scroll down again, you'll see Apple Care is $500 or $24.99 a month. There's also a $300 deductible. So I'm not sure if this is worth it or not. If you're very prone to dropping things, especially that front glass, well, then maybe you would want this. You can, of course, probably add it afterward as well. So we'll tap no Apple Care for now. And you can actually see it's been pushed back to February 3rd at the Apple Store to pick up or March 1st to March 8th. So that's actually not too bad, but it is available the day after the release at my local Apple store. So that's pretty odd since the shipping date has actually slipped quite a bit. Now, as far as anything else, well, we have a lot of information as far as its tech specs. Let's move over to the iPad as it's a little easier to see. So on Apple's website, if we go to tech specs, you'll see here it gives the capacities and also talks about the displays. So it says 23 million pixels, 3D display system, a micro OLED, and it says 7.5 micron pixel pitch at 92% DCI P3. And it supports refresh rates, 90 hertz, 96 hertz, and 100 hertz. So not 120 hertz but it's supporting up to 100 hertz. It also supports playback at 24 frames per second or 30 frames per second. It doesn't mention 60 frames per second anywhere. Also, you have video mirroring that goes along with that new option that we have in iOS 17.2, where if we go down, we go to general, then we go to 
AirPlay and Handoff. We have AirPlay Receiver. Stream or share content from Apple Vision Pro to your iPhone. So if you have that turned on, you can then actually stream the information to your iPhone or iPad so that you can see it there. So that's a way you can actually record it and share what you're seeing with other people. Also, if we scroll down, we know it has the M2 chipset and it is the higher end version of it. So it has an eight core CPU with a 10 core GPU and 16 gigs of RAM. Again, it has 256 gigabytes of storage to start. Of course, we have the cameras. They just call them stereoscopic 3D main cameras with spatial photo and video. And it says they're 18 millimeter F 2.0 apertures with 6.5 stereo megapixels. So I don't know if that means 12 total and they're splitting that from eye to eye or something like that. Also, we've got a bunch of other sensors, as you would expect, high resolution main cameras, six tracking cameras, four eye tracking cameras, true depth camera, a LIDAR scanner, four inertial measurement units, flicker sensor, and ambient light sensor. It has optic ID to look at your iris to sort of unlock everything. And then of course we know that it has spatial audio. The battery, as they've said before, allows for two hours of use or 2.5 hours while watching video. And it has Wi-Fi six, but not Wi-Fi six E. Most people won't notice this, but that's something that's a little odd. It also has Bluetooth 5.3. So that's all of that information. But the other thing is how much it weighs. They've actually decided not to show how many pounds it is, but rather ounces. So 21 point two ounces to 22.9 ounces. So almost a pound and a half or a pound and a quarter, 1.32 pounds or so. So it's fairly heavy as many people have actually stated. Some people seem to notice it. Some don't. And then if we scroll down, it just shows the apps that are built in. Now, when you pick one of these up, you actually get quite a few things in the box. You can see that here where you get the Apple vision pro you've got the light seal and you also get the knit band that goes around the back that we've seen in all the promo videos and different things. We also get a cover to cover that glass on the front. We've got a dual loop band in case you want one over the top of your head. That's a little different. And then we have a light seal cushion. Of course, we have a battery included and that's external, a 30 watt power adapter with USB-C charging cable and a polishing cloth. One thing to note is this is only a 1.5 meter cable, so it's fairly short. So if you wanted to use it plugged in and stand up or something like that, you may need a longer cable if you run out of battery. And then it has a polishing cloth. And if I zoom in here, it actually says vision pro. So that's something that's a little bit unique, at least to this. Also, one other thing I noted online is the operating temperature is a little bit lower than I would have expected up to 86 degrees Fahrenheit or 30 degrees Celsius in ambient temperatures above that. They don't recommend using it. You could use it, but it doesn't recommend it. And then you can store it up to higher temperatures, but that's something just worth noting. Now, a couple things with the operating system, I've shown that in a separate video, but you'll see, we have the app store. We have all of the regular apps you're familiar with. Some are fully optimized for vision OS. Some are not. And we have a new one called encounter dinosaurs. Today, Pixelmator announced that they'll be bringing their app to Vision Pro. So we'll have to see what this is like to edit photos and videos on or something along those lines. I'll definitely be trying that out once I get my hands on them. There's also quite a few accessories that we weren't expecting. Some we were, some we weren't, but if we go back, in the accessories, we have a Vision Pro battery that's $200 or $199. We also have the Vision Pro travel case that's $199. So this is fairly expensive. And you can see the case here where we go through. It has like this bag that goes around the outside edge of it. Once you've sealed it up, if you want to keep it waterproof, I suppose. But $199, Spigen or Spigen or however you want to say that actually has their own case available that's under $100. So there are a couple options available for it. But Apple's only selling this one on their website. If we scroll down again, we have those Zeiss optical inserts you can add afterward. The Apple Vision Pro light seal is also $200, which seems to be quite a bit. And then the Belkin battery holder. Many people predicted this and you can see the battery holder here where it just holds the battery in place. It's $50 or $49.95 and you'll be able to hold the battery and clip it on a belt or a pocket instead of putting it in a pocket. So not necessarily something you have to have, but it's nice that there's that option for it. One thing to note is that there is no Netflix, YouTube app or Spotify that is native to vision pro for some reason, they're not supporting it, even though they do on MetaQuest and other places, but so far there's no plans to bring those apps to that device. Hopefully they will, especially YouTube, but you can use Safari instead. One other thing I wanted to share is if we go back to Apple's website and we go to vision, one thing I would definitely encourage you to watch is if we go to Apple vision pro and tap guided tour at the top, there's a really nice video about 
sort of going over how it works and you can watch what it's like everything and how it works, how the interface works, what you do to select things and more. And then you can see many more videos experiencing or showing the overall experience. So it looks like something that will be definitely worth checking out, but not something that I think everyone will get right away. It is pushed back to March at this point. Although like I showed you earlier, it is available to pick up in store at least the next day. The final thing I wanted to mention is AirPods pro two with USB C. This is the version you'll need if you want to experience lossless audio with Apple vision pro. Now they're currently $189.99 on Amazon sold directly by Apple. So if you've been thinking about picking these up and you've already picked up an Apple vision pro, you might want to, or at least pre-ordered one, you may want to consider picking these up. I'll link it in the description, but you'll need these to have lossless audio. For some reason, the ones that come with lightning won't have that option. You'll need the USB-C version. But other than that, that's just about everything with the pre-order of Apple Vision Pro. Let me know if you have any thoughts or concerns about it. I did ask my daughter what she thought. She's fairly artsy into drawing and things like that and thought it was a little creepy with the eyesight on the outside. And most of us are a little bit skeptical, at least outside of the tech community. I think everyone within the tech community is somewhat excited for it, but still trying to figure out what we'd use it for, for day to day. So of course I'll try and get my hands on one if I can and see what it's like and share that overall experience with you. Of course, I'll link this wallpaper in the description like I normally do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.